When I say bananas, you say peppers. And if it sounds like I'm losing my voice, it's because I am. Today has been kind of a wild day. It's like I started off filming multiple videos that I wasn't able to finish. Like I started off filming a video in the pool, which is why my makeup looks so fabulous today, I know, because for some reason I thought it was a brilliant plan to go swimming or to try and film film a pool video like in a full face of makeup with eyeliner and fake eyelashes and this one is literally leaving and extensions in my hair go figure right then I like started to want to do a vlog for graveyard girl and does this ever happen to you guys where you know what you want to say and you kind of have like everything all like worked out and organized for the discussion that you want to have or what you want to say and then when you sit down to do it it starts to become like the most painstaking thing that makes no sense because that's just what happened to me. I find lately that when I'm just like struggling with something a lot and it's not coming out naturally, that that's okay. Don't beat myself up about it. Just stop for one day and try, try again the next day. So that's what we're going to do. But I still wanted to come hang out with you guys. I feel like it's been a couple of days. I just wanted to come hang out with you guys and decompress here. And I've had these envelopes that I bought while I was at Disney. And I am so curious about what they mean or what they could contain that I can barely contain myself. So I don't know how familiar you guys are with Disney World and Disneyland because I think that this exists slightly differently in both locations. The one in Orlando used to be called Downtown Disney. Now it's called Disney Springs. I think it's called Disney Springs in California as well. But at Downtown Disney in Orlando, we have a gigantic Coke store. I think it's four or five stories tall. It is magnificent. Like everything Coke you can possibly imagine is there. They have so so much merchandise. You can even meet the little like co Coke Bear mascot. And the top layer is so cool. Like you can get any Coca-Cola product basically that they make, including my favorite soda of all time, which is Surge. You can get Surge there. It's the only place I can find Surge, but you can get it there. So literally as I was checking out and buying more cans of Surge than I'd like to admit to bring back home. They had these things at the register, which are surprise Coke bags. Surprise Coke. Now, I have no idea what's going to be in them. It sort of feels like nothing. And there were a couple of different price ranges. The smallest bag was $1.99. The middle sized bag is $4.99. And the large bag is $8.99. Or you could do what I did, which is like buy them as a set. And I think I got like some kind of discount for doing that. Is the receipt still in here? Yeah. No, that's a receipt for something else. They feel really lightweight. I don't know if they're gonna have multiple things in them or just one item per bag, but like I said, they sell everything. They even sell like the Coke makeup. Do you guys remember when I tested out those K-Beauty products last year? Like the Coca-Cola eyeshadow palette, the lipsticks. I'll link that video down below just in case you guys are curious because you can still buy those products. So they sell everything from keychains to makeup and everything in between. Let's stop talking and just open the bags. So they appear to just be Ziploc closed. Nothing too fancy here. So somebody could have taken surprises out of my surprise bags. Like actually they pulled them from behind the register. What is this? It's a lanyard. Oh, so there is only one item per bag. So in here we have a lanyard that actually will open bottles of Coke. I'm trying to unwrap it so you guys can see through the plastic. So it's like a little lobster claw clasp, a bottle opener, um, and then it says, I used to be a soda bottle? No way, that's so cool. So I guess it does feel a little bit different than like normal lanyard fabric does. So that is so cool. I don't know if you guys just eat stuff like that up, but I remember like my very first encounter of something being made out of something else. 
that I knew about at least was like banana paper notebooks. Do you guys remember those? You could get like banana paper and they started doing coffee. But now there's like a million different things that are like totally recycled and transformative where you get like pins made out of plastic bottles, etc, etc. I don't know why I love stuff like that. Like I am 10 times more enticed to purchase something if it is like completely recycled. Like I just saw plates and forks the other day that were made out of milk jugs. Why does that blow my mind? Why do I love that so much? I don't know, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with this lanyard, but I love the fact that it's recycled. Amazing. Moving on to envelope number two. That is the medium sized envelope. It almost feels like something that's a book. Oh gosh dang. The envelope is half opened already. So maybe something spilled out. Um, what is this? Oh, it is! It's a notebook! That's it. Only one item per thing. So this is a um, I Love Coke notebook and pen set. It doesn't seem to say that it's made out of anything recycled. It kind of looks like this wood grain. I'm definitely going to give this to my mom. She always loves um, using little notebook sets like this. Um, oh, that's cute. The paper is lined. It says I Love Coke at the top and it's got a place for like a date and number. I don't know what that means. Um, the page number, I guess. You can fill in your own page numbers. Really, really cute. Not sure that this single item, yeah, they probably sell this for $5. Last thing almost feels like really, like it could be some type of fabric item. There wasn't like, I don't think it's gonna be a t-shirt or anything because there wasn't any like, um, size selection involved like you couldn't say oh i want a small a medium a large whatever um let's see oh what is this okay this looks a little like something that they would like give give away do you know what i mean like i thought that it would be like actual merchandise that was sold in the store the only thing that i think maybe i've seen before is this because i feel like every time i'm at disney i go here multiple times buying cans of Surge. Um, so this is like a tote bag, but it does kind of feel like, you know, like the free gift with purchase kind of thing or like a reusable shopper. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not like that, like, ooh, wow. I'm gonna write a postcard and tell all my friends about this. It's a cute tote bag, don't get me wrong, but I feel like in the sea of tote bags that I own, I'm probably gonna pass this on to somebody else. Although it does have like a space for a water bottle and I think this is like a space to clip a pin on. You see what I'm saying with this? Like I'm not sure that many people have ever historically done that, but I bet that that's what this is for. Like it kind of looks like an old tote bag that I would take to school with me sometimes, you know? So you'd put like a laptop in it. But see, I swear that's a pin holder. Okay, the addition of the pin has just made it so much cuter. Well, you guys, I'm not sure that this was the greatest video content I've ever put out. I will be honest, I thought that there was gonna be a little bit more to this. Like I thought each packet was going to be like a selection of items. Like I honestly did not even touch these envelopes until I just started recording this video because I just went up to the register and I was like, oh, I'd like to get the three like surprise envelopes. And then they just like put it in this bag with some other items that I have in here, like um, bottle openers and such. So I think I, I definitely thought that there was going to be more than one item per thing. Like, um, what are those? I can never say the Japanese word, but fu fukubaru? That's not it. Fukubaru? Somebody tell me. You guys know what I'm talking about. They do them at the, like, the beginning of the year. Fukuburu? No. I'm probably just saying dirty words now because I don't know the meanings of the words that I'm saying. But it's like the uh, lucky bag that we do from Beautylish every single year where there's all the different beauty products in it. And some boxes are luckier than others. Some you get like more expensive items in. I thought it was gonna be more like that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video anyway. I actually have a bunch of videos filmed for this channel. A lot of them I filmed before I went to Florida. So I'm hoping 
I can still edit and upload those and they will make some semblance of sense because I filmed them mid May and now we're in June. I know normally you guys don't mind and y'all are just happy to like hang out and talk about whatever. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and upload them anyway. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. If you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, hit the button down below. Become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. I love y'all so, so much and I'll see y'all again very, very soon. Bye.